What's up, scrubs, and welcome back to my tournament series with the Sprite Agents that keep your game on monthly, where we're going to be looking back at my replays of the tournament, um, and kind of pointing out some of the mistakes I made in the last video, or I mentioned in the last video. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I just think it's very important to go over these these um, matches and see where I went wrong, uh, where I really went wrong, and some of the things that, the minute things that I could have done differently. Uh, for the most part, I might be a little quiet during them because it's pretty fast. I don't want to pause it constantly, and I also don't want to have to rewind because that'd be a pain in the ass. It's Edo Pro, you know. Um, but I wanted to show this off, and yeah, I'll, I'll just explain it. But, uh, First off, I have my match against Shadowstroke69, who played, um, who played Tri-Brigade Sprite. So we'll go into game one here. So first off, hands. Uh, this is an entirely Sprite hand. Yeah. All Sprite. Everything. I believe I'm going first here? I don't remember. Um... They've drawn okay. They've they've drawn decent, yeah. Smashers kind of sucks for them, but whatever. I am going first. Um, I add the Smashers because I have this in hand, and here's where I already start making mistakes. Not, nope, it's not here. Never mind. Well, there was a mistake there. The blue should not have added Jet. It should have added either Carrot or uh fucking Red. But anyway. They imper my gigantic, and then I just starter for red and pass. Yeah, yikes. Set two as well. Not very good. And of course they tanky for fractal, and they fractal. And for some reason I read the kit activation and not the fractal activation. I should have just fractaled the, or I should have just negated the fractal. I'm not sure why I did that, because now they just normal Keras, and I try to Smashers them, but they Smashers me? Not sure why they did that, I don't know. But uh, I Prospy, and here's a mistake here. I Banish 3, I'm not entirely sure why I Banish 3, um, probably could have Banished 6 there, but you know. But I added Starter instead of, instead of um, Earth. I have, I mean, I have Jet in hand to search starter. Why the fuck did I add starter and not Earth? Whatever. Whatever. Terrible. I starter for blue. Blue for carrot. Carrot special. Everything in attack. <laughs> and then I make elf. I'll bring back blue. Make gigantic. Um. Yeah, I put everything in attack because I'm like, well, I can get in for at least big damage now. Um, I didn't think they could really contest me with battle. It's Tri-Brigade. The only thing I could potentially be worried about is like normal summon Fractal or Keras and walk over Carrot, I guess. Um, but I didn't care too much for that. Um, but it's not big damage anyway because Prosperity has your attack and I forgot about that. So... That was kind of just a mistake. I do have the life lead now in case time becomes a factor. But then do you know what happens? They surrender. Congratulations, me. We are at one up. Then comes game two. Okay. This hand is good. This hand is really good going second. It's not super fantastic, you know. Neptune could be something else. But it's really good. So they're gonna do their combo, and they're going to be completely un un uh, untouched by me. I don't have any hand traps or anything, but that's fine because I've got Dark Ruler no more, plus Called by, plus Earth, plus Jet, plus technically an Extender and Neptune. So yeah, they're gonna go full combo here, but I'm kind of fine with it, cause as you will see, don't have too much to deal with here. And I draw another Neptune. 
that sucks. That was like the worst draw, because that's supposed to be my Earth target. Yeah. Um. <laughs> whatever. I Dark Ruler no more. They can do shit. I Normal Earth, and then we disconnect. Neither of our internets crashed or anything. Edo Pro just disconnected us. And then we go the next round. They, uh, they forfeit. They forfeit this. They forfeit this. Yeah. Um, they forfeit that so that we go next. Here's our last thing. I open... Well, first off, I open Hanawada, which sucks. This hand could do something if we get good prosperity things, which we do. I get... Um, let's see, let's see what we get. Whoa, it's Sprite Blue. Whoa, fantastic. All we needed, Normal Earth. They have an Imperm here. If they Imperm, there's one part, where, I'm not sure why they didn't Imperm. We start comboing, make Elf, bring it back, special stuff. You know, we're comboing, we're comboing. Not sure why he did not Imperm the Gigantic. I have no idea why. Um, or the Diviner, to be honest. Anyway, time gets called, and we tie. We tie round one. Wow. Weird fucking match. And we tied pretty much just because of that disconnect. Um, yeah, whatever. Next is round two. Round two is against... Well, his name here is Cherubian too, but it was against D. Kang. Uh, and he ended up getting second in the tournament with Naturia Runic... Ishizu. I was not ready for this deck at all. <laughs> I had no idea what this deck did to be honest. Well, I knew what Naturia and Ishizu did independently. Didn't know how they interacted with Naturia. I also didn't know what Naturia did in general. I opened a pretty great hand. Not really any like, tech cards to speak of, but extenders out the ass. Full combo, you know, that's okay. That's about all I could ask for. Meanwhile, they've got two runic cards good ones, uh, Agito, Mole Cricket, and Slumber, so they've also got a decent hand. I normal summon the Diviner and just get going on this. And then I starter combo. I made Barone. I made Barone because I was doing this off of a normal Diviner. Like, I think this is normally a fine play. I don't have like any agents or shit. I just have um, a rank 10, and I think Barone was the play to make here, but I'm gonna be honest, I made it because I hadn't like fully read Master Flare Hyperion. Um, so I made it, I think I made the right decision for the entirely wrong reason. It is nice to have a negate here though if they have a hand trap, so now I can do sprite combos. Um, and sprite combos I do. Sprite combos, I do. I sure do. Um, yeah. What do they do? Flashing fire. I... Yep. So, they eat the carrot negate, and they also eat my elf effect. Whatever, whatever. Um, they also mill some cards. Don't think that matters in this thing, in this round. I read the Hugin, because I imagine since it's, uh, I did not see that they pitched a Gito. I just didn't see that. I should have paid attention to that, and I should have read it the Agito, and probably not the Hugin. Whatever, whatever. I'm still new, but that was a mistake for sure. And then I Barone the Agito, and they've still got Tip. And they destruction, pop my smashers, and then they reveal they're on Naturia, and they go mole cricket, camellia, sunflower, everything. I elf so that they don't, um, I elf so that they, it stops prompting me. Um, yeah, stardust charge, everything, blessing. I think you can see the writing on the wall here, I'm kind of fucked. But I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. And I draw Sacred Waters in the sky, which is okay. I should have probably not done that just yet. I should have probably activated Elf or something and then 
done something else, kept the elf on field for a bit there. Um, I should not have gotten to Gigantic immediately, but whatever. That's kind of a minor thing. Uh, the Sacred Tree for Blessing, of course. I go- Oh, I remember why I did that. I went Gigantic so I could walk over Barone. I do remember that. That was actually a fine play then, probably. Um, and I didn't activate Elf Effect because so that he couldn't negate and destroy. Yeah, I do actually remember that. I'm not sure if that's right, but it was certainly cool. It made me feel smart. Sacred Waters for Earth. Uh, the Camellia. Cool, Camellia. At this point, I'm like... This is where I start, like, reading my car- his- my opponent's cards pretty hard. I was like, what on fuck's name is this? It's so weird. It's such a weird deck. Um, I think it's very funny that it's meta, though. They do negate my elf and destroy. They jet. They- for starter. Starter for blue. And I believe they negate that as well. And then I gigantic, since they cannot negate it anymore. I send Parshath. I don't know why I did that. Did they... Oh, I've already done the tree-ass thing. Then why did the hell did I do Diviner? Why did I do that? What was the point of that? Shouldn't I have just summoned, like... Well, because I didn't have any sprites in deck, I guess. Maybe I... Yeah, I make another gigantic. <laughs> uh, was this... Oh, this is the match I accident- wait, is it? I- I had already gone through both of my elves. Yeah, and I surrendered there because I can't do anything with two gigantics. And... Oh! Okay, so this hand isn't as bad as it looks. It's not as bad as it looks. Um, Sacred Waters is Earth, plus Instant Fusion is All Vein. That's decent. Everything else is shit. The rest of the hand is terrible, awful, bad. And he gammas my earth. So I lose the game. I, I just lose. Yeah. Ugh. We'll see. We'll see what else happens. But basically, yeah, I get to it by this guy. And I, I sided in the Necro Valley. And I also sided in Judgment. Yikes. Terrible. Siding decisions. He's also milled two of my diviners, which is close. And there's the third, I think. No, it wasn't, but it's close. Oh no, it's bad. Um, I don't remember why that happened. Oh, I think that was time. No, it wasn't. I think. I don't know what happened. Well, I lost. I lost that round. I lost it. Um, I lost it 2-0, so at this point, I am 0-1-1. And I go against Crow, who is on Earth Machine. And this one is, a, is, is bad. This one is bad. So here's game one. Here's game one. I, I see this. I, I pot. And I add... Why did I add Carrot? Oh yeah, because I have Sacred Waters in hand for Earth anyway. Yeah. And I think my opponent saw this and was very concerned with my hand. He must have been like, he has full sprite combo anyway. I don't... He ashes my Sacred Waters. I was not prepared for this. At all. This was bad. This was bad. Uh, I do triple tax to look in my hand and I take their uh, urgent schedule. Um, and I have the instant fusion to go into all vein to get the extender off carrot, make elf, bring back the carrot. I actually do it at link point for once, I gigantic. Why did I gigantic for blue? Why did I gigantic for blue? Somebody tell me. Why did I not go full agent combo? Maybe because, oh wait. I guess since Sacred Waters didn't resolve, it's just not as good because no Master Flare Hyperion, I guess. It would just be Barone. Ah, still probably should've gone for Diviner and not Blue. Whatever. Blue for Jet. 
Jet for starter. For smashers, why... What? Uh, okay. He sets one a redeployment, metal cruncher. Yeah, stuff, stuff, and things. Alright, smashers his fortress, and he walks over my jet. Good all-around turn. I draw blue for turn. Blue. Rivalry does would have fucked me up more, I guess, if I did go diviner, so that's something. Starter for red, I should have done that last turn. Just go in. And he's on a big life deficit. I know trains are big and they can maybe OTK me. I have another sprite and I want to keep that one big. Or another gigantic and I want to keep that one big. Whatever. I don't know why it got... Oh, I already went through red and thing. Because this was before I changed my deck. And I was only running one red. He scoops. We side deck. Here's my hand up here. It's pretty... It's kind of PP bad. The Prospy's great, the Instant Fusion is great, and we did get Earth, Smashers, and Neptune kind of suck, but whatever. His hand's okay. He's going first, because, you know, he, he lost, he gets to do that. That's how Yu-Gi-Oh works. He's doing his combos, we'll just let him play out. Let him go off. Let Crow go off. Um, I believe I tied with Crow in tournament. Maybe he was one spot above me. I don't actually remember, but we were similarly placed at the end. Ancient Gear Ballista. Earth Machine is very cool. Big fan. Very, I think it's very cool that someone brought it to the tournament. It's not a competitive deck at the moment, but I think it's so cool. We'll see what else happens. So his end board isn't super duper good. Uh, Sacred Waters kind of sucks, I already have Earth. Prosby, let's see what I do. He, he Anger Knuckles here. Nibiru. Oh yeah, Dark Ruler. I add Dark Ruler. A Dark Ruler, he can't do anything now. Earth. I spoke too soon. He Ashes my Earth. Kind of suspicious. But... I have the Neptune in hand, so I can extend, right? Wrong. He pops my Earth. So now it is set smashers with an Earth on field pass. And I lose this game. I lose it. I lose it. Yeah. What happens next? Oh, no. Oh, no. This is why I was regretted so much sighting in this card, was this match right here. He's got Nibiru. Whatever. My normal summon is Diviner. Eh. Not the best. But I do get Barone. Which, actually, I think yet again, Barone was a fine play here. Again, Master for Hyperion's probably better in this deck as a whole... But Barone was kind of fine here since it was opening and I don't have any agents in rotation whatsoever. I ready fusion. He Nibiru's I negate. Jet. I couldn't I couldn't do that with uh what's its face? Um Master Flare, so you know, there's something. I do it right this time actually and summon the red at link point to elf, so there's that. But and then I just get rid of the elf for some godforsaken reason. Oh, but then I don't. And then I use the Necro Valley. This turns off my own elf. And also, why did I put elf here and not here? Why? Why? Whatever he does shit. My elf gets negated, and here's when I realize I fucked up. I just tribute off the elf for carrot, or not carrot, red. I tribute off the red for carrot to negate stuff, and he goes battle and walks over carrot. Beat down style. Why did I do this? Why did I detach my elf? I could have just gone battle. I could have just gone battle. I could have gone battle. And it's starting to realize, I'm starting to realize slowly that that was a mistake. I make Sprint to send an Earth, and then I just, just so I can make back 
the thing. He can still pop my gigantic. I did not know he could do that. Genuinely did not. I solemn that that's the only solemn you'll ever see in this entire thing. It's the only one that I ever drew, let alone resolved. Um, sacred waters for Earth. What does that do? I necrovalued myself. I can't do that combo at all. He's got heavy forward for turn. He has anchor drill, anchor drill, etc. I've got, I believe, smashers here. Can't smashers though. No smashers. Uh, I am about to die. My end is nigh. He did pop my Necro Valley, but it's not enough. It's not enough. I'm out of gas. Ooh. Zero to one, and I lost to Earth Machine. Not looking good. Shout out to the Earth Machine player, though. That was a. They were also very respectful. Next is Kuribo. And they were on, actually, during the, the deck portion of this little thing. I completely forgot what they were on. But they were on a pretty similar deck to D. Kang, who was my second opponent. The Nachuria Ashizu runic stuff. Um, Karibo was one of the higher placing individuals in the tournament, I believe. Um, not top cut, but close. Uh, yeah, they've got a good hand. They've got a good hand. And we've got... A pretty going second hand, if you ask me. Hanawata, I'm not sure what you're doing there, buddy. Uh, what do I get off the Prosby here? It's... Starter! Yep, that's the correct add. Uh, starter for blue. Blue for uh, jet. Jet for smashers. Summon red. Make elf. Wear link point. Anyway... Alpha blue, gigantic, detach, carrot. I could have divinered there. What? Why did I banish Master Flare and Morshath? Oh no! No! That's so tragic. Okay. I'm bad, unfortunately. And I see the runic stuff, and I, once again, I read the Hugin. Why do I do this? I know runic fountain is good, so I don't want them to have it, but they're gonna get it anyway, probably. And when will I learn? Ah, <sighs> oh, I remember this. I super polyed because I thought I could target this. I could not. And then I surrendered. Oh, rough. Real rough. Their hand is kind of bad. I don't think you want to draw Sacred Tree. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to send that. Our hand is okay. It is all gas and such, which we are going first, which is nice. Sacred Waters for the Earth. Earth add Neptune. All Mirage. Neptune bring back Earth. Make Elf. Elf bring back Earth. Uh, make Gigantic. Boom. For Jet, Diviner, I finally do that right. And now here's my big mess up. I do this stuff first, for whatever reason. Wait a minute! Why didn't I tribute Diviner for Trias? Oh! Wait, no, I'm just now activating that. What the hell? Oh! Gigantic locks you. I locked myself out of that combo. I, I locked myself out of the combo. I locked myself out of the combo. That is tragic. Yeah, so sad. So now my end board is Smashers Red and a link point pointing at not red. 
pointing at this gigantic, I guess, which is something. Again, I read the Hugin. Why do I read the Hugin? Why do I do it? Why do I do it? And it's it's Naturia again, and I knew it was Naturia this time, and I still did it. I still did it. I still did it. And they just pop my elf with Coral Dragon, and they kill me to death, and I die. Actually, I don't... Uh, I don't remember how this match fully goes. Um, yeah. Flashing fire for the red. Mills my Hanawada. Fucker. Haha. <laughs> and they surrender. Good for me. Good for me. I finally won one. Now it's for the last one, and this one was kind of just tragic. Yikes. The Trius in hand. Don't want to see Fallen Sanctuary either. Sure hope this Nibiru does Nibiru and this Prosby does a whole lot. Well, they're starting with uh, Mudora Pitch Keldo. They banish my triple attack. Very nice. Here's the Hugin. I don't have a red to negate it this time. He mills. For this match, I sided out one of my Diviners, and I don't know why I did it. But he mills all of my goddamn diviners. I remember this is a thing that happens. Um, what do we at here? Blue. Yeah, makes sense. Sacred waters for the earth. Earth. Boom. Add Neptune. Here it is. They banish the earth. They ban they banish the earth. They banish. And they banish my last diviner. And this is so game. And this is so game. I am so dead. I do get the set of sacred waters though. Very nice. Very tasteful. Yeah, I die. I die to death. I'm just gonna let it play out. Yeah. Didn't do so well. Did not do so well. I do Nibiru. But that's a big fucking token, that's a really big token, and he popped my Nibiru and gets a Magnum Mutt. Um, at least I'm alive this turn, but I don't have a way to out both um, Nibiru token and attack position Magnum Mutt at the moment, which is a pretty pressing issue. I negate the Mole Cricket, which was actually a good decision for once. And I have to smash here's the Nibiru token. I. Uh, yeah. I scoop. It. It ain't. It ain't going so well for me. And that's my tournament run. Uh, Could have been so much better. But now. Uh, now that all's said and done. This is the list I ran. Uh, and this is the list that we changed it to later on. I recommend you go watch that. Um, it's a good, it's a better, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a good watch. I, I mean, from, from, you know, you know, it's my, it's mine, you know. Uh, but I think this deck is cool. I think I need to practice more of the routes. I practiced a pretty minimal amount. I only played like five test games, but this deck is kind of dead without Halka Fibrax. I kind of need to figure out the combo lines a little more. I didn't even know what Master Flare Hyperion did. I didn't know what Parshath did. I wasn't sure what fucking... I'm still not sure what Majesty Hyperion's purpose is. Maybe it was a dead Halk thing. I just don't know. And of course, Necro Valley was a mistake, and so was probably Solemn Judgment. That's it. That's about it. That's all I got for this. Um, that's. I'm pretty upset with my performance, but at the same time, it was a very fun experience. Definitely check out Noah Jank. He's a great tournament organizer and a great content creator in general. Where did my music go? That was probably gone the entire thing, wasn't it? Oh well. Um. Hmm. That's about all I got. Uh, see you in the next one, guys. Sayonara.